Good morning and welcome to the New York City Council vote of the Committee on Criminal Justice. At this time, can everybody please silence your cell phones. Chairs, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Council Member Sandy Nurse, Chair of the Council's Committee on Criminal Justice. I'd like to welcome you to today's hearing and vote on resolution number 365 in relation to conditional release for eligible offenders who complete post-secondary degrees or programs. I'm gonna recognize Council Member Chris Marte, Abreu, Narcisse, Caban, Farias, Ayala. It is well established that participation in prison-based educational programming makes incarcerated individuals more likely to reintegrate successfully into their families and communities after release. An analysis of 37 years of research on correctional education found that incarcerated people who participate in higher education programs are 28% less likely to recidivate than those who do not. In addition, the odds of recidivism decrease as incarcerated people achieve higher levels of education. Recognizing the positive impacts of prison-based educational programming, in 2009, New York State established the Limited Credit Time Allowance Program, which offers individuals incarcerated for certain nonviolent crimes a single six-month time credit against their sentence if they complete a post-secondary degree during their sentence. However, individuals are not eligible for an additional time credit if they complete successive degrees. To incentivize greater college participation and promote successful reentry after incarceration, S7843A4888, sponsored by New York State Senator Julia Salazar and New York State Assembly Member Harvey Epstein, respectively would amend the correction law to provide incarcerated individuals eligible for a limited time credit allowance, a 12-month time credit for each associate's bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree earned. To speak more on this bill, I'm going to turn it over to Council Member Fredias. Thank you, Chair Nurse. Um, I'm proud today that we're voting on my legislation, Resolution 365, calling on the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign into law state legislation to allow for the conditional release of eligible incarcerated individuals who complete post-secondary degrees or programs. Data shows that participating in correctional education programs reduces incarcerated individuals' chances of returning to prison by 43%, which means a 13% decrease in the risk of recidivism and an improvement of post-release employment opportunities by 13% as well. Increasing conditional release opportunities to incarcerated individuals dedicated to their education is not only a proven and cost-effective way to reduce recidivism rates, but would go also serve as a greater incentive to more incarcerated individuals to engage in college education by introducing additional rewards for consecutive achievements, achievements that demand real investment and commitment. Education equips incarcerated individuals with valuable skills and knowledge, incentivizes personal development and rehabilitation, enhancing their employability and ability to reintegrate into society successfully. This approach not only benefits the individual by providing a constructive pathway towards a better future, but also contributes to overall public safety by addressing one of the root causes, lack of education and opportunities and access. Thank you to State Senator Julia Salazar and Assemblymember Harvey Epstein for leading on this bill in the state legislature. The city council believes that supporting initiatives that promote education and facilitate, facilitate successful reentry into society are essential to fostering safe communities, getting people the services they need, and reducing recidivism. Thank you, Chair Nurse, for giving me the time to speak on my reso and for moving this through your committee, and I urge my colleagues to vote aye. Thank you, Councilmember Farias. I want to recognize uh, Councilmember Althea Stevens has joined us. Hanif has also rejoined us, and we will wait for the clerk to do the vote.
Okay, so recognizing Council Member Ressler, thanks for joining the committee. Clerk, will you please call the vote? Thank you, and pardon William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Criminal Justice, Resolution 365, Chair Nurse. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Thank you. Caban. Ready? Aye. Aye. Good job. Abreu. Aye. Hanif. Aye. Marte. Aye. Narcisse. What is it again? Give me a second to process it. Thank you. Wrestler. Aye. Stevens. Aye. Thank you. By a vote of nine. She's so cute. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, resolution has been adopted by the committee. And Madam Chair, that is a full committee. Thank you. The committee is now closed.